Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so, as you guys can tell, I'm half naked. <laughs> no, but I'm getting ready for the day. And as I'm getting ready for the day, I thought I'd bring you guys along. Because I wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up at Shop Miss A. I don't know that I'm going to do my makeup on camera. I mean, it would make sense. I'm going to try to. Um, but really, it's to show you this haul. Um, later today, I am going to be going to the park to watch a movie, which I'm really excited about. Um, here in Austin, they often do like movies in the park in the summer. So tonight's the night, and I'm going to be taking my dogs, and my boyfriend's going to come along. So... We will see how that goes, um, but yeah, girl, so that's what we're doing. Um, I just got out the shower. Oh, wait, so before we go too long, check out my new tattoo. If you follow me on Instagram, girl, you already saw it, but like, how cute is she? That's how it looks with my arm down, or I guess like to my side. Super cute, I think, in my opinion. Um, let me make sure you guys get a good look at it. My sister Janie, most of you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, is a new artist. She just graduated from her apprenticeship like late April. So she's been doing it for a couple of months now. She did this tattoo on me. I have a couple of other tattoos. Patrick and I got these matching tattoos. And then, did I get another one? <sighs> Oh yeah, on my ankle, but you guys can't really see it right now, but you guys probably saw it in the video. If you didn't, make sure you go check out my spring break vlog. That's when we got those tattoos. Um, anyways, girl, so I'm getting ready. I'm going to show you guys the Shop Miss A stuff in between, but first I want to put on my moisturizer and comb my hair. Um, I don't think I've showed you guys, but I started using this. I haven't used it enough times to tell you how much I like it, but it's the Wishful Honey Blum Jelly Moisturizer, and this is so cute. If you like cute things, you're going to think this is cute. Let me pull it out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this has like a pearlescent sheen to it. It's almost glittery in a way. It doesn't have full-on glitter, but there definitely is a metallic luster to this, which I'm a fan of. And does anybody else, y'all Y'all have to let me know, does anybody else like to, I don't know, put that white tab back on top of their product, even though they're currently using it? Or do you guys just rip those off and throw it away? I need to know. Because I don't know if I should be throwing them away and I'm just being weird by keeping them. But you guys know that packaging is like a big deal to me. Like, I will use a product and put it back in its package over and over. I don't know why. Even when the component's like cute, I just want to keep it in there. I don't know. Try to be a little more gentle under my eyes, but sometimes, girl, I'm just not. All right, let me get this on. Now maybe my face will look nice and moisturized instead of like a dry, crusty ass crab. Whew. I'm so tired and it's barely like one o'clock in the afternoon. Or 1.30. Ooh. I will say that I have a couple of hauls coming up. I have a Barbie haul coming up. Hey, girl. Hey, comment down below. A pink heart if you're excited to see the Barbie haul. Or a little shoe. I don't know. Those were all... I love shoes, so... Having my Barbie have an outfit with matching shoes was everything. I was that girl. Spent all my money on Barbie accessories. Okay. And then I wanted to show you guys, let me move my camera a little bit, my Hello Kitty brush. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted something alluding to the fact that my boyfriend bought it for me, and he did. It's a wet brush. I picked it up at Kohl's. I actually picked it up at the Kohl's in Lubbock. 
but um, I think we paid like $12, which if you guys have been around Ross or anywhere lately, then you know uh, they have a lot of these wet brushes. Let me comb my hair off camera because it's going to be like, <laughs> hold up. Okay, so I got done combing my hair. Again, this is what the brush looked like. Just wanted to show you guys because I'm obsessed. They did have a pink one that was really girly and just had Hello Kitty space. I thought it was really cute, but listening to my heart, I got this one because this is the one I really wanted if I could only have one. So instead of going what the popular like influencer thing was to do nowadays on these girly streets, I got what I wanted. Okay. So, the real reason why I turned on my camera today is this Shop Miss A haul. Okay, so if you are unfamiliar with Shop Miss A, generally their products retail for about a dollar, sometimes like a dollar fifty-five, sometimes a little more than that. And I saw years ago Alexa Jada. Comment down below if you follow her because love her story times, love her makeup looks. Um, anyways, I saw her a couple of years ago start posting about Shop Miss A. She was showing like products that she was using from Shop Miss A and I was curious. From my understanding, I thought the products were only available online. Fast forward, I have seen other influencers also do Shop Miss A hauls and um, generally they're from an online package they receive. Now. A couple of months ago, I was at my local mall and I saw they had a Miss A store and I said, no way, it's Shop Miss A, like a brick and mortar in my mall right now. So that day I didn't get to go to it. Fast forward, I've been two times since. One time I bought my own things. I don't remember if my boyfriend was there or not. He may have not been with me. Um, and then the next time I was with my boyfriend and he picked up the tab, although it wasn't much because like I said, a lot of the items are a dollar, a dollar fifty five. And I'm not one to, I guess, I'm not one to splurge on a bunch of like shitty little items as far as like their keychains, their hair clips and things like that. I've been a little more picky with it, but I have been curious to try their products, although they're inexpensive, like just to see how they work because I've seen other people use them and I just kind of want to know for myself, like, is it worth it or is it not? And uh, real quick side note, when I was sitting down to film this video, I was like, I wish I had a Juicy Couture robe. So Juicy Couture, stop making Juicy Couture robes for fat people because the extra large is not giving. Back to Shop Miss A. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two bags that I got. First, I'm gonna show you the, ta the, the smaller bag that I picked up. And this was actually from the second time I went, sorry. This is gonna be for a thumbnail, hey girl. My head's all cut off. Otherwise, I look naked. That's a really lame thumbnail, but girl, here we are. Beggars can be choosers. No. Okay, so the first bag I got, and I'll tell you how much everything costs because I have the receipt here. So this was only $13. Ooh, got some goodies. Okay, so I got the, uh, you guys can comment down below if you tried any of these products because I haven't and I'm curious. So I got the Shop Miss A Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I'm curious, the package says I paid $1.88 for it. The next item I got, I actually saw Alexa Jada use these years ago. So full circle, bitch, here we go. They are these, um shadow armors and I actually saw Alexa Jada cut these in half so she can use them for both sides of her eyes and get double the amount so they're supposed to if you guys can see the back 
shield from like I don't think you guys can see it shield from like eyeshadow falling on your cheek etc so it catches eyeshadow fallout helps create a straight edge for eyeshadow prevents messy mascara smudges helps prevent the wing uh perfect the winged liner hands-free and disposable it says 14 patches so if you cut these in half like alexa jada was which i haven't used them so i'll see if it works for me you could get 28 and i got two packs so that's 40 what 56 Okay, and um, let me see if I see those on here. The shadow armors, those were a dollar each. So, bargain, bargain, bargain. Then I got two of these uh, AOA Studio. And I think these are the lip balms. I'm about to look on the receipt. This is what they look like. Really, the packaging is what got me. And the packaging's like cardboard. How cute is that? And then we got this one right here with the little kitty. And these were $1.55 each. I got them in the shade Snooze in the shade Soft Heart. I'm going to open it just to kind of see the color. Maybe I'll swatch it. So, ooh, so this is a full on lipstick. It's not a balm. This is nice. How much were these? They're $1.55. Ooh, this is a pretty color. This is the snooze. Let's see if we can get it going. That's what snooze looks like. A bit different than what this shows here. But super creamy. Super creamy. Ooh, can't wait to try that out. And the, like I said, the components cardboard. Love that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the sweetheart one. This is what the lipstick looks like in Sweetheart. And I'm just going to swatch it right next to this one. So, very similar in color, but it looks like it has more of a pink hue to it. Whereas the other one has like a burnt orange color to it. The components on the inside are plastic. Like this part is plastic, but the outer part is cardboard. Super cute for $1.55. Um, I mean, you really can't go wrong, even if it's not long lasting. It is creamy from what I can tell, and the color's cute. The next items I got were two of the Wonder Brow pomades. I got it in the shade. Did I get the same shade? Sorry, the colors are so hard to read, but I got it in the medium brown and in the dark brown i'm gonna open these so that you guys can see them they're pretty tiny compared let me show you compared to the anastasia pomade or the i method pomade that's the size of this tiny little pomade so i did buy two and the brown pomades were only a dollar so not bad for a dollar so this is what the medium brown looks like. They feel pretty soft. I didn't really dig my finger into it, but it, it did get browned. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that. So decent as far as like the softness goes. Like I don't think it's going to be hard and crusty. Whether, whether or not it like dries out, that I'm not going to know for a while. Okay, and then this is the dark brown. Maybe I should do them side by side so you guys can see. The medium brown is on this side and the dark brown is on this side. So there is a color difference. Again, I picked these up for a dollar. If you guys have tried these before, let me know because I'm curious. Because I think the Anastasia ones are like over $20 if I haven't bought one in a while but I want to say they're closer to $30 so if I can find something a little more affordable that works just as good or decent then I mean I'd be crazy not to try it <laughs> lol 
The next thing I picked up was this little bunny lip gloss. I could pick these up after Easter Girl, but they were still not on sale. So I got this in the scent Watermelon. I didn't have high hopes for this. Like, oh, this is going to be great. I've worn it at least once, like the day I picked it up. Put up, put up. Okay. Did y'all see that? <laughs> like a ton of it came out. More than I needed. It's all over the component. Fabulous. So it has a lot of glitter, as you guys can see. And I don't know how much that one was. Let's see. I think it was a dollar fifty-five. A dollar fifty-five because I got the cherry and then I switched it for the watermelon after I purchased it. And then the last two things in this bag. Are. I know I said I don't buy all that little crap, but I saw these little bracelets there and I just thought they were so cute and lo and behold it, it was for one dollar so yes queen and then I picked up this one also for one dollar actually my boyfriend bought me the stuff that's in this bag so shout out to my boo I thought this was pretty cute and pink for one dollar so that's the first bag and now we're gonna go into the second bag which has a lot more because it was my first visit there and I hadn't been there so let's see what we got okay so I'm just gonna go with these the first items I picked up were these bath bombs. They were located like towards the front of the store. I'll show you each one in depth. But this first one was the Peach Princess. Comment down below if you guys like taking baths. Not saying that you don't shower, but there, there are bath people and there are shower people. And then there's people who like to do both. I like to do both. When I'm like really stressed, girl, I really need to take a bath, light a candle, get a drink. Um, grab my phone, meditate. Sometimes I don't even do my phone. I do a book. So comment down below if you're like that. I get a face mask. I get the bubbles going, girl. Just really makes me feel good. And then I got the Twisted Slush. It's supposed to smell like eucalyptus. I thought that was cute. And then I got the Ease Up. And it's supposed to smell like lavender. And I got each of those. Do I have the receipt in here? The bath bombs were $1.55 each. So not bad compared to Lush, but I'm pretty sure they're not Lush quality. If you know, you know. Okay. So the next item I got were some lashes. I think I got more than one pair. <clears throat> yeah. Really? Ooh, I got... Oh, never mind. I didn't get the same ones. I got Lana and Dolores. I picked these up. Let's look at one at a time. So these are the Lana. And these are the Dolores. And I picked these up for $1.77 each. Then I kind of wanted to try their brushes, so I got a packing brush, and it's just this little pink one. I think it's pink, like a peachy color. It's pretty soft for what it was. I just wanted another packing brush. And that packing brush, let's see if it's on this receipt. I honestly don't know how much that brush was. It may have been $1.55. All right. Then I went ahead and picked up this um, cherry wood. I don't know if it's a matte liquid lip. 
Oh, this is a liquid blush. Sorry, this cherry wood is a liquid blush. It looks kind of dark. For some reason right now when I was looking at it, I thought it was going to be like a matte liquid lip or lip gloss. Uh, past Vanessa bought a liquid blush, so I'm going to show you guys that. I think this is just going to be the haul, guys. Sorry that I'm like half naked. And then I think I'm going to film a video for the Get Ready With Me. So if you want to see a Get Ready With Me with the Shop Miss A stuff, comment down below. I didn't get any foundation or anything like that, but I got like blush, I got liners, I got lipstick, I got lashes. So this is the blush. Ooh, and it is liquidy. I mean, yes, girl, you can beat it. I think that would be cute. I probably did enough for both cheeks in one stroke, so maybe just dab it on. Okay, and then I got a Sugar Lips. It's a Sugar Scrub. I'm not going to open this one, but this is in the flavor Apple. So, this is what it looks like. This is the Sugar Scrub. And according to the receipt, do I have that? The blush was a dollar. That's a steal for real. And then the sugar scrub was a dollar as well. I got this gel lip liner in the color um, Cowgirl. I wasn't sure like about their lip liners, so I wanted to try them. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people do like lip liner hacks to keep the lip liner at by setting them with like setting powders. So I think I'm going to try that. Maybe when I film the video for this. Okay, let me get this off. So this is the gel liner. I got it in Cowgirl. And I think I'm just going to... Mark it up right there. That's pretty. That's a nice little brown. And, oh. I like that. It clicked when it went on. And I got that for, or, 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 $1.55. Then I got, like, this free little gift here. It's a hair one hair cleanser and conditioner coconut oil so I did pay for this I think they have them there like for a dollar but I got it for free <clears throat> then this cutest thing ever I got this paw paw travel blending a case I've been wanting to open it so bad guys I thought this was cute for like traveling and I'm supposed to leave to Lubbock like in a week I just came back from Lubbock hence there hasn't been a video but how cute is that? And it's like silicone-y. You guys know, you know, I don't even wear foundation like that. But this was so cute. I could not say no. And I like how it has the breathe holes to, I assume, help with bacteria. And then the back just says AOA Studio. Super cute. I think they also had a pink one. Or a different color, but... They may have been out because I think I've seen somebody else call that. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff still down here. So and then I got this um, lip makeup remover pads. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like whenever I'm taking off my makeup, when I do wear makeup, that sometimes the lip products, they're great because they stay on all day. But and then like when it comes time to take them off, they don't want to come off. So, I picked these up in hopes that that would help the situation. And they're just little pads. So, I mean, I've never tried it. So, if you tried it, girl, let your girl know. I got this uh, Easy Brow Gel in the color Clear. I got this for $1.55. I haven't opened it, obviously, because I'm just now showing you guys. But... I plan to keep it that way for a while because I have some. What I was really looking for was this flyaway kind of like mascara wand that somebody else hauled. Um, so 
I guess we'll see if I ever get my hands on that. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about and if you tried that or if you tried this. Um, because I've seen other people using like clear like mascara type wands for their flyaways. I've tried my brow gel for my flyaways and it works. So I might just use this one specifically for that so I'm not going back and forth. Okay, and then I got a few more lip products. I got an AOA Studio City Girl and it's a lip gloss. I don't believe it's a plumping gloss. It's just a lip pop is what it says. And I got this in the color City Girl. Um, and that was $1. And then I got this AOA Studio just like lipstick and I am going to swatch this one too. And I got this in the shade Swoon and it was $1. So this one's in the shade Swoon. I'm just going to put it right next to my other lipsticks kind of. See if it gives me a different shade. Yeah, it's more of a brown color. It's hard because they're all sealed up and they don't have samples for you to really see what it's going to look like. But I think I like that. Looks a little caquita brown, but I think with a lip liner, it'll look good. One dollar. Can't beat it, really. If it doesn't work out, it don't work out, girl. And then, um... I got this last one. It's a lip plumping tint and shine sexier and fuller look. And I guess this is the only plumping gloss on here. It was a dollar. So I couldn't tell the tint either. It says that it's like in shade two. So I'm just going to put it here. It looks like it has glitter and it's clear. Unless it starts changing color on my skin, I assume it's going to stay clear. There's no burning or tingling really, so I'm not sure if it's peppermint infused or anything, but it's supposed to be plumping. Plump. That's a lot of stuff. I have a few more things that I want to show you and then I'm going to let you go. Again, if you're just tuning into this video for the first time, make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Let your girl know if you like this type of video or not. Are you here for the AOA studio or not? And let me know if you want me to film like a girl ready with me, like me trying out the products. Okay? I think today is just going to end with maybe a little clip of me at the park later just to show you guys where I ended up going since I mentioned it. Um, but let me show you real quick a few items that I got at Dollar Tree. Nothing like too crazy. So I have been seeing these and everybody was raving about the Charlotte Tillsbury and everything else that is now like liquid blush so hence why I got that at Shop Miss A. And then I saw these LA Color liquid blushes at Dollar Tree so I have high hopes for these I mean I haven't tried them I have heard at least one review where they did enjoy them but I got this in the color mesmerizing and I actually picked up two of these and then I got it in tainted love and I got two of these as well and then I got one in admirable so those are the colors that I picked up. Comment down below if you picked up these. And just so I don't know why anybody would talk shit or why you care, here are the other two that I said I got. Like, I got five of them. I think I got them like in two different hauls, but I got five. And then um, just the last two things that I picked up, I'm going to show you real quick that I was interested in trying from the Dollar Tree is this jelly lip gloss. I figured it wouldn't hurt to try it. Um, you guys, honestly, the YouTube community and all you women out there that are hauling things from Dollar Tree, you guys make me want to try it. You have definitely influenced me. Otherwise, I wouldn't, like, be spending my money on this type stuff just because... I'm a firm believer that you get what you pay for. So yeah, all the Shop Miss A stuff is cute and everything, but I don't know if it's durable. I don't know if it's long lasting. I don't know if it's going to stay on my face all day. And then this jelly balm. 
also from LA Colors. This one I got in the colored Sweet End. I don't think I said that, so Sweet End. And then this one's in the flavor Watermelon, or the scent Watermelon. So, woo, that was a lot of things. So, if you like affordable makeup, if you like this video, then you should definitely subscribe and come back, girl. What are you waiting on? And I guess all you returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching my video. If you're here to the end, comment down a little makeup emoji. Let me know you're here. Um, but yeah, girl. So until next time, Naked Vanessa's gonna say bye. Bye.